We all know that Brock Osweiler sucks, but it became more of a surprise to us how much he really, really sucks. When he was in Denver, he showed some potential there. Obviously, a lot of people might argue that if Brock Osweiler was the starter in the Super Bowl, that they would have still won that game. Now, Brock Osweiler, when he reached Houston and signed that deal that we all know is a really bad contract, he, I thought he was going to be a Eli Manning S quarterback. In the middle, mediocre, you know what I mean, comes through in the clutch, but really isn't all that consistent. That's why I thought Brock Osweiler was going to be. But, but, now you see him, and he's been playing in Bill O'Brien's system where it relies on a lot of accurate and quick throws, and he has that elongated throwing arm motion where it's so slow that he basically knows that if he's not quick enough, he's going to screw up. And so, and then he gets all inaccurate and stuff like that. That's his issue. He's just so inaccurate, and he's in a system that requires him to be accurate. Does he still suck? Yeah, he does. I'm not defending him that much in this video because the only reason why I'm making this video is because I heard that the reason why Brock Osweiler sucks is because of he lacks confidence. The fact that his best moments, best moments are in like in a clutch situation is actually doesn't really show a lack of confidence right there. Usually players who usually can perform well under certain amounts of pressure are usually your more confident players. That's how you look at it. So it's not a confidence thing with Brock Osweiler. He just can't throw the ball quick enough or accurate enough to fit in those into those um, pockets that Bill O'Brien wants him to throw them to. That's it. But Brock Osweiler, you need to step your game up and you still suck.